Good morning. Here is today's word of blessings for you. Luke 23 13-18. Pilate called together the chief priests, the rulers and the people. And said to them, You brought me this man as one who was inciting the people to rebellion. I have examined him in your presence and have found no basis for your charges against him. Neither has Herod, for he sent him back to us, as you can see, he has done nothing to deserve death. Herefore, I will punish him and then release him. But the whole crowd shouted, Away with this man! Release Barabbas to us! Today's title is Pilate Choice. Many Bible readers feel sorry about Pilate. He happened to be a Roman governor when Jesus was crucified. He knew that Jesus was without sin. He tried to release Jesus free three times knowing that the chief priests, the rulers, and the people plotted to kill Jesus out of jealousy. But he finally gave in to them. Would it have been different if you or I were in Pilate's place? I am not sure. So I was wondering why we say then that Jesus suffered under Pontius Pilate in our confession. With a brief survey, I found out that many people have raised similar questions throughout history. But they couldn't take Pilate's name out of it. Why? The main argument was that Pilate represents the time. Pilate had the final legal authority for the crucifixion. Judas Iscariot or even the chief priest can't replace Pilate. There is another reason. I believe this is more substantial. Pilate put his political consideration before the actual truth. Pilate knew that Jesus was without sin. But he didn't want to override the demand of the Jewish people not to endanger his political position as a Roman governor. He tried to be politically smart at the sacrifice of the truth. That was his choice. Pilate was in an unfortunate situation. But we often face similar choices between political correctness and spiritual truth. I have seen not a few Christians making the same choice as Pilate. I must have done the same mistakes. What a shame. So what can we do now? I don't know what happened to Pilate after the crucifixion. But for us, we still have time to correct our faults. When we face the same choice or dilemma between selfish gains and the truth, we have to be sure that we don't make Pilate's choice. We know that we will see Jesus face to face in heaven sooner or later. It will much wiser to suffer temporary loss than to suffer eternal embarrassment. Let's be wise.